companies who pointed firearms at each other and then lied about it. A supervisor making inappropriate comments. Just some of what a months long investigation discovered at the Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office. It has led to firings and a suspension. 12 News anchor Lane Alter breaks down what the office says it found. New at 6. Of this year, the Sheriff's Office received reports of two deputies drawing their firearms and pointing them at each other. Shortly after, other deputies reported discrimination occurring on their shift. At that point, the Sheriff's Office launched an investigation, interviewing 32 employees. They found the two deputies had in fact pointed firearms at each other and been dishonest in their interviews. Those deputies were fired. The reason that you have these precautions in place is because um, accidents happen. I don't think there was any intent to harm uh, uh, as it relates to these incidents that occurred with the Sheriff's Office. Uh, but that's no excuse because, again, accidents happen. Through the investigation, they also found a supervisor had made inappropriate comments. That supervisor has been suspended. He had made the statement, um, this is America speak English. We believed that uh, it was out of line and should not have been said, even in a joking manner. Another deputy resigned when it was discovered they had created a false call so they wouldn't have to go out on a traffic stop. I know that the deputy that created the false call said that they were down in some paperwork and things that they needed to complete, but that's not the recourse. Under Sheriff Brian White says it's frustrating to have employees break the rules, but because law enforcement officers can be called to testify, they cannot tolerate dishonesty. We recognize that things happen. People make mistakes. Um, most of the time, those mistakes we can correct, we can move on. Um, but when you're not honest or truthful about it, that's where we draw the line. Lane Alter, 12 News.